When I think about my role as a social studies teacher, I think about being sort of a portal to the world um, out there. That's both uh, the world of Los Angeles that my students are uh, very adjacent to, but often uh, very excluded from for a variety of reasons, the world of the United States, and then, of course, the broader world. For the assignment Windows and Mirrors, I asked my students to choose uh, two articles from the New York Times website, one that they saw, saw themselves in and one that they saw something very different from themselves um, or the world in. When students chose articles, there was such a range of what they selected, particularly for the mirror assignment. So some students, um, that was based on sort of personal interests, things like, you know, video games or maybe sports. Others were based on age or based on race or ethnicity, but also others were so fascinating as they were based on something sort of internal rather than external, right? About mental health or about, um, challenges during the pandemic. Um, and so that was fascinating on the, on the um, mirror side. On the window side, what I saw as a theme was students choosing articles that they saw no connection to themselves in, and then upon reflecting on them, always finding some interesting uh, reflection upon themselves. One student, Yaleen, wrote about uh, discrimination against Asian American women. Although in her world there are no Asian American women, she found deep connections to her own experience as a Latina, deep connections to um, how some of that um, discrimination and sexism felt for her. One of the amazing things about the Windows and Mirrors assignment for me was that it made me wonder how often I could do this assignment and how I could build it in as a routine in the classroom. because. It's so targeted in its essence, but then so wide and broad in its parameters. I'd love to see how students built a journal of windows and mirrors, what it might look like for students to sometimes dig into international news and sometimes dig into food or style. It's the easiest way to find ourselves around the world and in different neighborhoods and in different communities it is likely to allow students to touch on things that they've never seen and to explore more widely, um, more broadly, and in certain cases, more deeply.